So welcome again to my channel, um, Chris's Caribbean Delights and in this episode I'm going to do a, a stuffed pork tenderloin. Um, as a matter of fact I'll do two uh, stuffed pork tenderloins and for that obviously you'll need some pork and pork tenderloins and um, this is what they look like um, they come when they when they come like this you just you need to just get this uh, the excess fat off of it get all the excess fat off and then you'll be able to and then you start to you have to butterfly this uh, spread it out as flat as possible and then you pound it so that you can get it really flat so that you can wrap their stuff in it um, for the for the meats so you have I'll use some five spice powder some chili flakes some ground garlic and I use a pack of sazon um, also I, I have some culantro cilantro uh, about two tablespoons and I have some some Indian spice some garam masala I like that smoky uh, flavor and that smoky accent it gives it. For the liquids, we'll use some fish sauce, just a, a teaspoon, some liquid aminos, it's an all purpose seasoning, um, some hoisin sauce, but, but another teaspoon, and we're gonna rub the meat down with that, and a little bit of mustard powder, also some sesame oil. We're gonna just massage the meat, that would be like the marinade and then we'll we'll proceed to to wrap it now um in here i have two uh bay leaves i'm going to saute there's some onions with this with the spinach because we're going to put spinach in there we're going to stuff this with some spinach and I, i'm also going to put some ham in there and maybe a piece of turkey if it could fit but we don't know uh we don't know as yet um but i'll make it fit um also, uh, some Parmesan cheese, we're going to also incorporate in that. And we're going to make this a nice uh, stuffed uh, pork tenderloin that you'll enjoy. And once you cut it, you'll see all the greenery and everything in there. It's going to be wonderful. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. So, we're going to work on the meat. And also... There's a silver, um, a silver skin like you have to, you know, peel off. Comes off pretty easily. Um, so it kind of looks like this. Kind of looks like this, but it peels off really easily once you get that. So you need to take that off also, okay, before you start working with the meat, okay. So now you can make an incision and we're going to butterfly this out. So you make, you're cutting from the inside out and you're, ro you're rolling it out. You're rolling it out. As fast as you cut, you roll out. Then you make another incision and you roll out. Don't go too deep or else you're going to leave a hole in it. So. And you keep rolling it out until it gets wider and like here start from the inside you're rolling it out rolling it out you're cutting on the inside and you're pushing it out towards the end until it gets to a, until it gets as wide as you can get it Okay, so now we see we have a flat piece of pork that we can work with. Flat piece of pork we can work with. And uh, we're going to pound this out to get it a little flatter. So with the ratchet, we're going to give it some 
we're gonna pound it out a little. This is also tenderized. Tenderize the meat. And you can also use there's a flat side. This just flattens it out. Cool. So I'm going to start seasoning here. We have our garlic powder, our sazon, and the smoked paprika, the smoked uh, garam masala. And we, I, had, I mixed it all up, so I just have to sprinkle it on here and leave some for the second piece. Put some chili flakes on here. Okay, press that in there. And I'll just put a sprinkling of sesame oil onto the meat. Five spice powder. Okay. Now, in this pan I have my spinach. Spinach is sauteing right here. almost done. So you just want it to warm through, it's going to get it to cook in the oven again, so that's done. So let it cool for a little bit before you place it on the meat. Now my other experiment, first I want to do is to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on there. some shaved parmesan here. Alright. Cool. So, we have that. I have some slices of ham, which I want to use up. I put that on the parmesan. This is a turkey on there. Finish. Get it all on there. 
All right. What else do you want? What else do you want to put on there? Okay. Now let's get it together. Center it on your board here, and you're going to start to roll it up very tightly. Roll it up very tightly. Keeping everything inside. Okay. There you go. Now, let's give her hands a wash here. We're going to get some, some water stuff. You can use some skewers to keep it together, but I'll just, I'm going to tie it up, so. I just want to keep that. Let's keep it, uh, keep it together with the skewers for now. Make a slip knot. Well. Make a few slip knots to keep that part together. Then we'll come down the line. Alrighty then. It's not the neatest, but you know, it's workable. Then what I like to do is do a cross tie here, just to be sure.
Okay, so now we have this all tied up. Um, we're going to just put it on a plate, rest it on a plate here, and then we're going to start our little massaging here on the outside. Okay, a little bit of fish cross. Minnows. Poison sauce. The poison. This is a, this hot this sauce is a kind of a sweetish uh, has a sweetish taste to it. It's very nice to use in, in Oriental cooking. So we'll just put some on there. The other thing I want to use is the ABC soy, I know you've seen, you've seen me use that before. ABC soy sauce, it's a sweet soy sauce. So, this guy is going to sit here for a little bit until I finish the other one. So this is going to get, it's going to get a little uh, marinating here because I have, I still have the other one to, to do. So, and then before you preheat your oven, 350, they're going to go in there for maybe about 20, 30 minutes. So let me put the oven on now. Uh, 350 and I let this guy rest and marinate and then I'll be right back when I'm finished with the other okay now we've done with both of our guys I'm going to spray my uh, my baking dish with some non-stick spray and we have the guys here right here they're all marinated so we're going to put them alongside each other in this bacon dish right here and I'm going to bake this covered for the first 20 minutes and then I'll open it and see how what it looks like and then we'll I'll probably leave it open for the next 15 minutes or so so right now we're going to put it in the so as I said guys, so as I said guys, um, we're going to put this in the oven 350 and for about 20 minutes, uh, first 15 minutes I'm going to, um, I'm going to cover it for the first 15 minutes. It's going to be there maybe about a half an hour it will take, but uh, then I'll open it for the last uh, 15 minutes or so, but we'll keep testing it to see how it comes. So uh, here we go.
So guys, this is the finished product. My pork tenderloin, stuffed pork tenderloins. And uh, I've sliced it up for you. And uh, this is how it looks on the inside. With the spinach and the cheese and the, the ham and all the other stuff that I put in it. It's delectable, it's delicious. You can have this with baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, rice, whatever. Yeah, so enjoy. And I hope you try these recipes and those techniques and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get all the other recipes I'll be uploading shortly.